it's your bro once pro here and in today's video i'll be showcasing four water towers in satisfactory i'm saying water towers but we could say also liquid towers whichever you prefer as is we don't store water in them uh the other stuff which i will show you in a second uh so in this project i'm working uh, with my friend farmable critical and we are planning on building a city next to our base which is there in the background um, under the um, elevator space elevator you can see our warehouse and on the right hand side we have our base uh, and then we have this area here for our future factories which we want to encase in skyscrapers and then we didn't want the water towers to be sticking out and just being ordinary water towers, so we encase them in uh, kind of ish uh, skyscrapers as well. Alright, so each tower is holding eight industrial fluid buffers, which we have over here. So, in total, we are holding 192,000 um, meters squared. And then, if you times that by four towers you'll be having 768,000 meters squared of liquid fluid in the towers. Um, so we have them hooked up to the four platforms at the train station and then they just get uh, the liquid just travels um, under the train station through the pipes up into the towers. So let's go have a quick look at the towers from the inside how they look like. So we have a quick car park over here. Uh, we want to uh, do a few warehouses here as well, so we made the car park slightly larger, just in case we need more tr trucks to be parked here. Uh, but we will see what we'll do with this area. Uh, but let's focus on the water towers or liquid towers. So in the first one we have heavy oil, uh, which currently we don't have in here. So inside I have included lights all around so we have some kind of light um, shining for the windows when we are looking at the water towers from the outside so it looks like there's some kind of light inside and representing the skyscrapers in some way and then on the outside we have pipes uh, going down and then inside we have pipes going up so once we are at the top, I will destroy one floor and show you how it's going. So on the side we have the liquid falling down, and then inside we have uh, water pumps pumping everything up. So let's go upstairs, or up the ladder, all the way up. And let's have a look at the fluid buffers. Alright, so we are at the top. <coughs> so we have one, two, three, four at the bottom here. And then it goes slightly higher. Oh, I'm going around my butt. <laughs> to the next four. So we have eight in total. So at the moment we don't have anything stored here. Alright, alright, so open up this floor. And now you can see all the pumps going all the way down. And the electric cables also connected in. So everything is hidden inside and it goes all the way down and underground and it connects to the train station. And then the out of pipes from the outside it will just connect into our uh, factories. So as you have seen how the towers look like from inside, I'm just gonna quickly walk you through the outside. Alright, I'm running this on a server so I'm still having some kind of uh, lag issues. Uh, they're supposed to be fixed in 1.0 so fingers crossed that will come out soon. Um, so yeah, this is the first tower. We have the power underneath here which will connect to the water pump, so right now everything is disconnected and then we have uh, power cables going under the road, so we'll just connect this up to the road and then everything will turn on. 
So the second tower will be aluminium solution if we need it here. Or we can change it to whatever we want in the future. Uh, I think this is sulfuric acid. So we will be uh, building the batteries in here. Or anything else that is needed for. And then we also have nitrogen gas. So this is what we went for for now, but we can always change it to, I don't know, maybe fuel or um, water or whatever we need. Alright, so let me go downstairs on this one because still this one is the only one connected to the train station. <clears throat> so hopefully without killing ourselves, because it's on the edge of the map. So you can see all the pipes are going in there, they're not painted yet. Just drop down here. So as you can see the middle part from the train station is going for the middle and it's connected up and then the sides are just down here ready to, to go into the factories whenever we need them to. So this will continue up like so. But then I'm not really happy with this kind of mess over here so I'll be trying to I will try to figure out a more cleaner way to connect this up to the train station so right now I'm not very happy <laughs> the way the pipes are going it's, it's okay but I still think it's a bit too messy and I want to make it a bit more clean and then maybe not so spread out so I might put them more closer together maybe on top of each other as well like they are over there so yeah I will see how I can improve it and then I can maybe do a few uh, video in the future of how I uh, changed it and then the other platforms they are already like the other water towers they are already to receive the pipes from the other three train stations alright so these are the four water towers I have built they are all identical uh, let me know in the comments what you think about them maybe if I could improve something change something or if you would like maybe a blueprint in the future I could uh, build one for you it was um, kind of painful repeating everything four times <laughs> in a row um, but yeah uh, it's done now but yeah if you want a blueprint let me know then I might be able to build one for you and the train is coming in with the nitrogen gas Okay, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next video. Peace. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like to see my future content, make sure to join me on Discord for instant notifications. On the Discord I'm also promoting members YouTube channels and streams to help you grow. All of the links are in the description. I shall see you in the next video. Peace.